60,000 people. Last chance. Bastien will be bidding and selling for 860,000. <laughs> So I've decided to take on the challenge of recreating one of Banksy's artworks. I've chosen this one, which is called Girl with Bloon. It's a simple but powerful image that has become one of Banksy's most iconic works. Okay, so we're ready to start. We're going to begin with sketching out the basic outline of the girl in the balloon. We want to make sure we get all the proportions right before we start painting, so I've decided to use a projector to speed up the process and get all the proportions right. So here you're going to need some card. Um, obviously I've used the projector, but you can print it out, draw it out, whatever you want to do. I've just wanted to speed up the process. So when I was drawing this out, I was just trying to get it as close to the original lines as possible to make it look well hopefully look exactly like the original Banksy seems to use these like quite squiggly lines I think it just helps with how the spray paint will eventually sit on the canvas or wall or whatever you want to paint it on really and even if you don't want to recreate this image then you can just use the same techniques to make whatever image you'd like and spray it on whatever you'd like. Okay so now the girl is all uh, drawn out and ready to go, well ready to be cut out, we can adjust the projected image to show the balloon and then I'll uh, just to re reposition the card so we can get the image looking as close to the original as possible. I want to put it in my bathroom and people think I've got a real Banksy. Right, so the stencil is pretty much ready to be cut out. Um, I'm just going to quickly show you what it would look like all black. You don't need to do this. I just want to show you what it would look like. And that's how it will look when you spray it. But next is cutting it out, the difficult bit. All right, so we're ready to cut this out. Obviously, you're going to need a scalpel or blade or scissors probably wouldn't work, but you can try. Um, obviously be careful it's extremely sharp and basically just cut out the black bits and take your time try and use the same technique as Banksy does because he does he definitely does this like squiggly thing and you can see I'm trying to recreate that with the scalpel and it's not the easiest but let me stop babbling on you can have a quick time-lapse of this whole process which can take a while Okay, so now that's all cut. Um, I just want to show you a quick tip if you accidentally cut a bit off of the stencil. It's quite an easy fix. So here's me accidentally cutting a bit off. Basically, all you do is mask and tape it back on and then cut around the masking tape and it's just as solid as it used to be. And now that's done and you've repaired all your stuff, um, I've decided to do it on a canvas. I'm just going to prep it quickly with some acrylic paint. Just quickly, look how satisfying this is, played backwards. Nice. Anyway, so 
like I said, we're going to just quickly prep this canvas. Um, it's literally watching paint dry, so let's just skip this bit. So now that's uh, all prepped up and ready to go, we have put the stencil already on the canvas because you don't need to see that, you, you get that. And I'll just quickly put it on this board outside so it doesn't get paint everywhere, even though it's under the fence, there's paint everywhere. And now we're ready to paint. Obviously we're just going to use, mostly Banks uses black and white, so it's quite easy to replicate. You can see here I'm trying to make it look so hard to explain. So you've got to make it look like it's been rushed. A lot of Banksy work looks like it's been rushed on the streets. So there's some bits that are more transparent than others. And then we just do the same technique with the balloon. As there's a different colour on the balloon, it's a red, with, you can still use the same stencil, you just need to cover up the section of the red that you don't want and then you can swap it around and then spray the red. Oh, okay, so the red is more of a fluorescent pink. It did not look like that on the picture, but we've come too far now, we've got to carry on. So I'm just following what I did before on the black and trying to make it look rushed and not quite finished but finished. Does that make sense? Ah oh well. And there we have it. Um, I think it looks pretty good to be fair. I'm a bit annoyed about the fluorescent boot balloon, balloon but apart from that it's pretty spot on thanks for watching come back if you want oh yeah and subscribe <laughs>